this is how to create a personalized subscribe YouTube button using Canva. Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Laura Sinun here, Realtor with XP Realty here in Jordan Heller, Alberta, Canada, aka, yes, you know it, dinosaur capital of the world. And in today's video tutorial, I am showing you how to create a personalized YouTube subscribe button. As mentioned, I do use Canva and Premiere Pro to create these CTAs or call to action buttons. So the general idea behind this is green screen. But here is the problem for me. My personal brand colors are green. So if you use green screen, that effect, obviously there's going to be nothing there. But in my work way around this, in Premiere Pro, there is another effect called Alter Key, which I will show you later, which basically allows you to remove any other color besides green, right? So we are going to start with Canva. So we just want to go to create a design custom. We're gonna go 1920 by 1080. All right. So first step is I'm going to make the background purple. The reason is, is because on the color wheel, the opposite of green is kind of purple. So that's that was kind of my logic there, but I, I think you're fine using any other color so the first things first let's create again this cta in layers from the background up so first what i like to do is just go into elements go into your shapes i like using the rectangle with rounded edges so I'm just gonna size that down that looks about right and then I'm going to grab a circle because this is where I want my photo to be. So that is the general baseline shape you want. Now go back into your elements and we want frames. Go into frames and we want this circle frame right here. Pretty self-explanatory okay now go into your uploads so grab a picture of yourself i have many <laughs> i'm just gonna use this one as i have done so in the past i'm gonna use that one all right so next thing here is we're gonna add in the text so another tip here if you want a text box just press t on your keyboard and you will have a text box right there i'm just gonna size that up so i'm gonna say like and and then i'm going to make uh, i'm just going to copy and paste that and then i'm going to put subscribe all right so i'm just going to make the like just a little bit smaller subscribe it just a little bit bigger i'm gonna line that up properly okay then i'm going to make it white gonna bold them and then I'm just gonna add a shadow to the like area and then I'm gonna add um, let's see splice Sp yeah okay hmm or let's see bit bigger actually I'm going to extend this rectangle here because I want to put the bell icon so now that we have this done we're gonna go back into elements and we are gonna to go to the top and search animated bell and I like this one size that all the way down and put that right there Okay, okay. So that looks good. That looks good. Just gonna make that a little bit smaller. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is the mouse mouse click. Now there there are animations for these as well, but I just like 
to use this one. I'm gonna flip it, size it down, I'm just gonna angle it like that. I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna make this black, that black. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit because I just want to put this behind the other one so it creates kind of like a shadow effect. There we go. So that looks good. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Think circle ring just to add some dimension here. I'm going to make this dark. So that's pretty much it for the graphics. Now in Canva, we are able to do other animations. So if you just click the background, uh, go to animate at the top. And what I like to use is the pop effect. And so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave this page at five seconds. Now what you can do is also animate the individual text boxes. So if you click either one and if it go to click your text box and then I'll take you to effects or then you want to go to the next one over which is animate and there's a whole bunch of other animations you can use for your text. I usually just like to use the block one and that's pretty much it for this animation. Now what you want to do is download this as an mp4 video file save that to your desktop let it do its thing and then after it exports we are going to import it into premiere pro so go ahead and just open up a new uh, project file so now that we're in here i'm just going to drag and drop this bring it to my timeline and just give it a play looks like that beautiful now I'm going to download some sounds I will share these sounds in the with a link in the, the description box below if you want to use them but it's just a mouse click sound and some other I think a swoosh sound and a bell sound that I have so I'm gonna show you how to make this CTA come alive so after you download the sounds let's just drag and drop now let's watch this one more time so we have to coordinate the sounds according to how the animation is going so it looks like the click is first a swoosh and a bell okay so it's all gonna be really in the first like two seconds of the cta so let's go into the click sound. Yes, I just screen recorded this off of YouTube. Okay, click is kind of right there. I'm gonna drag the audio only. I'm just gonna make this bigger so you can see. I'm just going to crop that just a little bit. Let's go in. Here we have the bell. Going to grab that first. That's going to go at the end. I'm going to drag it and drop here. Just... Okay, and then we have, I have that swoosh sound somewhere down here. Or swish. Yeah, there's that one. Okay, I'm going to drag that. 
just going to crop that down. Oops. And let's let's trial and error from here. Oh, that was pretty dead on. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna do the green screen or ultra effect key effect. So we wanna go into effects, just type at the top, ultra key. We're gonna drag it to the CTA part here and then go into your effect controls. And in this area, you'll see the key color. So click that dropper tool and just click the background and like that the purple is gone all right now we want to export this so for me i am on apple so i just am going to press command m or you can go up to file and export now here's how we save it properly so you want the format to be in quick time and you want this to be in the if you scroll down to the video the codec you want it to be an animation and if we keep scrolling it down, we want to render at a maximum depth and we want the 8B PC plus alpha. I don't really know the science behind this, but you want that. Just keep scrolling down and I think that's all you need. Render at maximum render quality. And let's, I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can find it easily. And we're going to export. Now that you have it saved and exported to wherever you have it, the thing here is that you cannot play it back in on your desktop here. The only way it's going to open properly is if you drag it into a different project and in a, in a new timeline. So I'm going to open up a different project just to show you what that looks like. So here I have another video, excuse my face. So if you just, here, hold on, let's see. Okay, if you just drag the CTA into here and drag it on top of your timeline. Here, I'll make this bigger. It will play back properly. I'm just gonna mute. Like that it will play properly just like that just remember it won't play on your desktop but if you drag it into a adobe premiere project it will open up just like that all right so that is how you create a cta or call to action button or subscribe youtube button in canva and in adobe premiere pro i hope this tutorial was helpful you can do anything and everything with this format you can go ahead and create your like buttons your comment buttons any other cta you have in mind you can do so using this format so again if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below with any questions or concerns you may have and if you haven't already if you are new please subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads and follow me on instagram at alone and living and until next time i will see you all next time bye friends